Yo, what's good? I'm Ra. That's D. Rich. This is the Real Talk Sports Show. We want to welcome you guys to Info Season Stadium tonight in Akron, Ohio. We got a great rivalry game going on tonight. The, the battle of the private schools of Akron, man. Mm -hmm. We've got the St. Vincent, St. Mary Fighting Irish versus the Hoban Knights. D. Rich, man, we got a really great atmosphere outside, man. Fans are tailgating. Students are excited. Been out here all day. All day. You say what you say? 8 a.m. 8 a.m. I was going to class. Seen him out here tailgating already. Wow, man. I don't think Akron U even does it like yeah, this. Yeah, I almost stopped and got me a plate, but I didn't. I had to get to class. I was running pretty late. So, <laughs> no you know. doubt, no doubt. Well, let's get right to it, man. Let's break down the keys of the game for each team. Well, for Holman, they have to come out here tonight and they can't be shell shot because this is the year out of all years. I can't remember the last time Holman beat St. V, honestly, but this is the year out of all years that they can finally get it done and they can't be shell shot tonight when they go up seven points, 14 points, 21 points. And so for St. Vincent St. Mary, they have to understand that this is not last year. You don't have Paris Campbell to rely on. You don't have Dante Booker. You don't have Newman Williams, a D Rich TV player of the year, to make big plays <laughs> for you. So you have to play smart. You can't depend on them anymore. You have to depend on yourselves and come out here tonight and make a name for yourself as an individual. Yeah. Uh, we we got to give some, some credit to our off-screen help here, Darian, as Darian Farrell said. What a difference a year makes. What, what a big difference. For each one of these teams, we know, like as you said, we know uh, Hoban can put up some points. They've got a solid running game, nice athletic quarterback. And for St. V, it's, it's like they're, they're rebuilding. They're rebuilding. Hoban got talent. Their talent grew. They were young and they grew up. St. V lost the talent that was grew up, and now they're trying to grow up. So we might see a, a flip of switches right here. No doubt, no doubt. So key players for tonight. Who we who are we looking out for? One player that everybody's coming to see tonight is Todd Sibley, the running back for Hoban. If he wants to make a name for himself and put a good impression on the crowd, he has to put up at least 100 yards, 100 plus yards tonight, maybe two touchdowns. Jonah Morris, the receiver from Hoban, he has to get it done tonight. And Ted Sieber, the offensive lineman, he has to make sure that backfield. Nobody gets back there. You have to protect the quarterback. For St. Vincent, St. Mary, Tyrese Bate, uh, Marcus Hurd, and Vince Lockett, he's going to make plays tonight. They have to step it up. No doubt, no doubt. We know that um, Space is an upcoming uh, great, great defensive player. Man, we're going to see him go head to head against Sibley. But like you say, I would like to see Sibley have a, a superstar night. It's not just an average night. 100 yards is not going to get it tonight. If, if you play for either one of these teams and you're supposed to be a good player, this is a night where you make a name for yourself. This is where you want to do hey, it. Hey, Durant Grant did it, what, three, four years ago. He came out at interception for a touchdown and won the game. So Showed out that night. Showed out it. that night. So. so, now we're down to the point. Let's, let's get right to it. Who you picking tonight, then? I'm, I'm picking Hoban tonight. I'm picking the Hoban Knights to win tonight. I think they can get it done. Hoban, what's your score? I'm gonna go Hoban 21, St. Vincent, St. Mary 17. Wow, wow. I'm, I mean, my heart's really torn here, man. You know, I haven't got the chance to see St. V play this year, so, and I know they're rebuilding, and the kid Sibley, man, he's he's one heck of a talent. And you, you throw that in with with Jonah, man, and I I, I think Hoban comes out the victory tonight, but. I'm hoping St. V makes it interesting. I'm, I'm going to say 21-7. It's not a knock on St. V. It's just it's not their time anymore. It's not their time. I, I think right. it's I think it's Hoban's time this year, without a doubt. All right, but well, we're going to get ready to get we're going to get ready to get into the highlights of the game, and we'll see you post game with our comments. Make sure you tune in to the show, D Rich TV, Real Sports. The argument is all tonight.
they do against Michigan State. What's good? I'm Rod. That's D. Rich. This is the Real Talk Sports Show. D. Rich has been a very exciting game, man. We talked about earlier in, in, in the pregame show. We said, "What a difference a year makes." Man, tell me, what a difference a, a year half, makes? What a difference a half makes? Uh, a half. <laughs> hey, Hope had them the whole game, but choked. Man, it's over. They did. They, they're through. It's over. You, you still you, a minute left in the game, but I don't, I don't think they can do it. You want to give you the fans at home your synopsis of what went down here? Well, basically, Hovens, Todd Sibley, did exactly what I, I, I thought he was going to do. He came on, dominated the first half, got a hip injury in the third quarter, I think it was. Wasn't able to come back after that. And after that, the game changed. It, it changed drastically. You definitely could feel a shift of energy when Sibley went down in this game. It's like Sibley picked up the ball and they never looked back. Even fighting, uh, even down here to the last, last second. Uh, and let's talk about the catch from Tyree Spate. That was such a, a clutch catch. That catch, man. I, I, I thought the quarterback was just throwing the ball up for grabs, and somehow he comes down with it and runs it in for a touchdown. That changed the game. That changed and, the game. and the catch on the sideline where he got his feet in, looking like Calvin Johnson, Emmanuel Sanders, uh, Mario Manningham in the championship game against the Patriots. Uh -huh. Hey, getting both feet down, getting the job done. Getting the job done. Yes, yes, yes. St. V, um, like I said, a tell of two halves. Um, looked like a totally different team from the first half. I don't know uh, what the coach said to him uh, to get him energized, but they definitely came out here and got the job done. He probably told him this. We don't lose the Hoban anymore, guys. We don't lose the Hoban anymore. That's probably what he told him. We don't, we don't do this anymore. It's, it's been, a new us. We don't lose the Hoban anymore. It's been what? Eight, eight years? Yeah, seven years? Seven years. So, well, there you guys have it.